Hello, this is Dan Fashionbauer from Video Pizzazz. And today I'm going to show you how to generate Amazon Associate Product Advertising API keys. And the reason we're going to do this is it will allow us to pull in Amazon products and put them on our website. All right, so I created a fresh new Amazon Associate account. And in order to create our API keys, we'll come over here, click on Tools, click on Product Advertising API, come over here and click on Resources, click on Manage Your Account, and you will have to have an Amazon Web Services account, which is AWS. And so right here it tells you how to create your credentials. So we're going to click here first and create a account and I'm going to use the same email that I used to create my Amazon affiliate account and click I am a new user and you can click sign in using our secure server. All right, so then you can enter in the name that you want to use for your AWS account, put the email address that you want to use. Put in a password and click on create account. All right, so then enter in your full name, company name, country, address, city, state, zip, and telephone number. And you need to decide whether you want a company account or a personal account up here on top. I'm going to be setting up a company account and then enter in the security code right down here. Check the box that you read the agreement and then click on create account and continue. All right, so then you'll need to fill in your credit card information and this will only be used if you purchase some AWS products in the future that require payment. But for what we're doing today, it's free, but you, you still have to put a credit card on file. So then click on continue. So now you need to have uh, immediate identification sent to your phone. So you have to enter in the goofy capture code again, and then click on call me, and then hit the keypad on your phone and enter in the four digit pin that they gave you that displays on your screen. All right, and then it said that the identification was completed. Click on continue to select your support plan. And we're just going to leave it as the basic plan. Price is free. Come down here to the bottom and click on continue. All right, so it says here that they're creating your Amazon Web Services account and they're activating it and we should get an email when it's complete. You'll see we got an email from Amazon Web Services, a welcome. Click on that. All right, so then we can scroll down here. You can click on sign into the console and then put in your user, your user email and password that you just used to create your Amazon AWS account. Click on sign in. All right, so now we need to go into the IAM services. So if you click the down arrow here at services and come down under here under security identity, click on IAM. Now this is an identity and access management system. If you wanted to create users and groups and give them special permissions, you could do that with this tool here. But for the keys that I'm looking to create, they can only be created by the root. So we'll come over here next to the root access keys here. Click the down arrow. Click on Manage Security Credentials. Click on Continue to Security Credentials. Click on access keys and you'll notice we currently don't have any access keys and it's important right here if you read this as described in a previous announcement you cannot retrieve the existing secret access keys for your AWS root account so you can still create a new root access key at any time. As a best practice we recommend creating an IAM user that has access to keys. All right, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to click on Create New Access Key. Now I'll click here to download the key file, which contains your key ID, 
and secret access key and put that in a safe place so you don't lose it. Actually, I think I'll say open with notepad. Click OK. And you got your AWS access key ID and your AWS secret key ID right here. And then I'm also going to download the key file. Click save file. Click OK. And then click close. And then you'll see your access key ID here, but you will not see the secret key ever again. So make sure you don't lose that download file. All right, so that's how you would create an AWS access key ID and an AWS secret key ID that you can use then on your websites to link Amazon Associate Program to the products that you want to put on your website. All right, so I hope you found that useful, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.